CSM, he can't really spin on you because you're going to play safe. And it's pretty hard lane to lane against this, you know, Shaman plus Jug if you want to pick something. <gasps> I mean, Slar dead. A slaughter? This one can work. Up. 30 mark, but here comes some of those early rotations. Bane swooping towards the mid lane just to send you or to, looks like, block that mid, the, the small camp around that mid lane. Not actually going for any kind of a kill, but... The aggression down bottom, they've gone on Q. The Enchantress heals up through it all, but not enough. As they get the first blood onto, you know, get pressured and pushed away from the lane. He has gone for an early chainmail. Any kind of, you know, efficient armor items to kind of make yourself a bit tanky. It's all physical damage when it comes to the Slada. Speaking of Slada, Morbid Mass, they've gone for a TP rotation. They freaking Armel. He's rotated in with the arena, goes in on KP with the blade fear from Raven. He gets out of crush, but it's too little too late. Great rotation from Armel, making the first move, knowing that this bottom lane was about to get really difficult. Q gets a nice tree towers. Meanwhile, Death Prophet Exorcism, this tower just melts with ease. And they're coming bottom to defend. Yes, they just wanted two things at the same time. Let's take a look at the fire at the bottom lane. John Well. Uh, position 5, Monkey King stuck in the uh, arena of blood with his teammates. Armel finish him off quite easy. Used to do, but there's a reason they stopped doing it, because it it is so one-dimensional, and it means your opponents are just going to itemize for, you know, all in on things like armor items. Armel, they saw him, but he's, the Slaughter's is too fast with the whenever the sprint is up. What an interesting game it is. We oh, see Makoto a lot of rotation, yeah. Uh, put it down. The about his strike first. Uh, that's going to be a 3v1 easy kill. Mikoto going to waste his time on farming on levels and items that he needs. And the uh, resource management on top. Now KP stuck in a tree line. He sees the target. He's retreating crush, trying to make his way out. But being surrounded, being chased by the four players is going to be quite hard and he lost the uh, teleportation Radiance cooldown as well oh, so all he can do is just they're hunting in bottom yeah found him use arena of blood on the uh, full hp slaughter without any mana gonna be an easy kill yep. they're just being hunted like talon kind of smoked through their top jungle didn't find it. who needs boots you just jump on the trees <laughs> <laughs> oh dear all right. Are they, are they oh. going high ground here? They yeah. commit exorcism with wards. Minute 18, ladies and gentlemen. Exorcism and everything. This is actually the first time jumping in. Bomb? And yeah, the combo okay. is just working. DJ was the first one who goes down. They get the support. But how can no. they going to stop that oh. massive pen wards? This is, this is very important for Team Town on Eastbourne. Now killing spree already for Armel. Exactly what they give to in the interview. They want to rush the game as fast as they can kill man look at his item he's on his way to become another carries and yeah. this is what he did in a previous match uh, against boom oh wait but kill talking about kill get pinned down immediately uh, four stuff away so uh, he's still he's still fine but he's still being chased by day uh -huh. prophet spread siphon connected to him monkey jumping on him that's the first dead infest though Nothing. puck has a life sealer inside they want to look for an initiation here are we not blood? No one's inside. Empty room. I'm walking around. It's still trying to hold on to the area. One player got hexed down. It's gonna be Slada spinning around as well. And it's KP balls. Next one. Oh, oh, man. Man. I mean, wow. This is just a big mistake made by Team Talon Esport. It feels like they are so displaced. What do you think? You know, to do damage in a fight, but Makoto's just not farmed enough on this puck to like carry team fights. But yeah, hides late. Invis. He sees him coming, but it looks like they're going to disengage. Oh, okay. Uh oh. <laughs> One got caught, man. That's important. One and as it's well. the carry. That is 23 Savage. He's trying to just walking away from spinning object. There's going a four star. in. Avalanche. Oh, oh, man. Look at that. The taxi just takes him out, but the taxi stuck in Arena of Blood, so he died. Passenger about to go down to Chopper gone first. Oh my dear, 23 Savage, fall, 12 to 1. What happened to Talon Esport in this series? I mean, the uh, back then in Dota 1, this is the uh, favorite strategy uh, for all those Vietnamese teams. They were so strong back then. Star Sport, if you guys remember. But let's take a look oh, at this one the first. The core getting pinned down once again. Man, the spears worked so well. Spinning around and slashing oh, the building. Oh my god. Left back at mid, four heroes smoked up. Fnatic, they want to find a jump here. Yeah, and the damage as well. 
Come on, oh, this one is going to someone. be... You can't lose okay. this one already for Team Talon. They just have them. to swing it back, but it just seems so impossible. The first one to fall, at least they get rid of the support. The DJ falls, turn on BKB and try to walk back to the high ground and save himself at least. Okay. And yeah. a race of Team Fnatic just going to change the objective into the mid-tier 2 tower. Mikoto trying to go around, maybe trying to fight some guys on the backside, but nobody there. Finds an arcane room, but they may try hunt him a little okay. bit. KP, no! Oh, they get the kill, but they're... they're oh, okay, they were they're keeping out. Spear? They were so fast. Oh. oh my goodness. That was almost a disaster for Talon getting all this armor. Here they go again, though. They want to keep getting these jumps. Yeah, jumping in onto the high ground to see the target, and it's exactly Dead Prophet. That's what they want. Dead Prophet goes out for the first time in this game, clean spree ended. But Slash, Slash, Slash everywhere, ladies and gentlemen, spinning around nearby. The, the support got the way. Oh my, it's a trade, oh, It's 2 3 1, fighting again at the Roshan pit wall. Lock it down the in the green coin, and look at that kill. He working his magic. Finally, he got a chance to do some free attack around here. Go around and round. Then throwing on the Monkey King. He falls. This might be a little bit turn around to the game for Team Talon Esports. Yeah, they kind of set that fight up nicely. I mean, in a game, man. Look yeah. at that slaughter. BKB Invest is ready. Again. Let's take a look how he's going to land it. And they it's going prophet. to be the Dead Prophet first. Perfect target for them. Dead Prophet down without any using of this ultimate, though. But the rest have to trade with the life, too. They lost two cores already. Puck and also Slaughter Rachel's gone. Dying. <gasps> oh, the yeah. Nightmare safe. No, no. Oh, no, man. This is not a good initiation. They, they, I think they spent too much time on that Dead Prophet. And um, too much damage distributed on him. So, yeah. The, the race being cleaned up. Just a bit split up this time around they were all there so while death prophet does die it comes at a heavy cost and hide's been caught in the mid lane oh yeah well play by dj just now teleported down blinking and shackle easy kill by johnwell on hype um juggernauts the high ground he goes again this jug's getting pretty fat He's holding on to the Aegis. Yeah, here we go with the Exhaust system destroying on the uh, range Firax and all the Firax. They got the yeah. yeah. Behind, they're jumping in with the BKB and Citrine Crunch and then cover it up with Arena of Blood. The gem has been dropped. Trinity Savage picked it up and trying to just walk back to the high ground. He's safe, he got the gem, but the fight is not over yet. Bought back already. We're telling, uh, they're circling them. They're saying, look, this is where they're playing. They're hunting for kills here. They're trying to get farm here. Either avoid them, or if we're going to go in this area, we need to go as five. And they are grouping as five mid. They get the spear onto Life Stealer. Yeah, they're catching that Life Stealer down so fast. And here goes the no, damage of Team Pylon Esports. Hot Knight through Butter. Oh. This is becoming a stroll. Oh my goodness. Next one going to be killed. Over. I think so. And it's a GT call, ladies and gentlemen. 36 minutes in, 26 to 9 game score. Philanthic. Takes game number one. Wow. Honestly, Armel's Mars, like, we talked a lot about the panel was saying, like, how flexible his hero pool is. He'll play whatever. If they need to swap it up and put Mars in mid lane, you can see the smiles, the laughs there. Fnagos, like, they're feeling themselves. Jabs may not be showing it, but the rest of the team are. That was just dominant. That was so convincing from Fnatic. You know, we were all hyping up Talon. I, it felt like, you know, this was maybe going to be Talon's